In the world of freshwater fish, few fish rival the size and attitude of a huge northern pike or muskie. These streamlined, toothy eating machines are the freshwater equivalent of the sharks. Down through the years, these fish helped to generate tall tales, and many of these misconceptions are still widely accepted as fact by today's anglers. Pike and muskies are clearly two different species with distinct biological characteristics. Pike prefer cooler water and spawn earlier than muskies. They also tend to be much more willing biters than their finicky cousins. In the U.S. and Canada, pike do not grow as large as muskies. However, in Europe and Asia, pike reach sizes that rival our biggest muskies. Northern pike are extremely adaptable, very efficient predators, and they inhabit a much broader range than muskies. In fact, they have a circumpolar distribution residing in latitudes of 40 to 70 degrees north. This includes most of the northern U.S. and Canada. Muskies inhabit primarily the northern Midwest states and northeast, extending as far south as Tennessee and North Carolina, and reach as far north as the lower portions of the central and eastern Canadian provinces. In the next hour, we'll take you to top waters throughout these fish's ranges. You'll enjoy great action and hot tips on how to put that fish of a lifetime in your boat. On this tape, we'll join some of our country's top anglers to get the inside track on how they target trophy pike and muskies. Our list of anglers includes Jim Sarek, nationally renowned muskie expert and editor of Muskie Hunter magazine. Joe Booker, TV host, president of Booker Tackle Company and muskie fanatic. Steve Panaz, executive director of the North American Fishing Club and huge fan of big pike and muskies. Tony and Dean Capra, Midwest anglers and TV hosts with a passion for chasing big fish. In the next hour, these anglers and others will show you how to catch these freshwater giants. Bass anglers rely on buzz baits on a regular basis. The calling power of these topwater baits is hard to beat. However, most pike anglers overlook these baits. With the northern pike's natural feeding voraciousness, buzz baits ring the dinner bell for big pike. Here are Steve Panaz and Alaskan guide Leon Randerman to show you some great pike action. Why are these fish back in here? I mean, there's no weed growth, there's no cover. I mean, are they getting out of the current or why are they back in these little channels like this? Got him. It looks like a good fish. <laughs> That's a good fish. This is where the majority That's of their feed fish. is. White fish have come up into these lakes to feed and the pike follow and also the salmon smolter up in here. So That's a that's a long that fish. That's a really good fish. That's a long fish. Oh. That's the kind we're looking for. Look at that. So thick. Real nice fish. I'm soaked. He soaked me. Another good purpose for Rangier. Yeah, pike fishing. Oh. That one's not that long, but I tell you what, it's just a mule. She threw my, uh, she threw the, uh, the stinger hook. You want to grab this one for me? You see, I just didn't want to get wet. <laughs> Lower your rod tip. Yep. I'm in free spool. Nice jump. I think it's so shallow, she just ran her head to the bottom. Busby, it's getting destroyed. Oh, look at that fish. Forty-four? Forty-four. It just amazes me on the girth on those fish. I mean, that fish, what, what does that thing weigh? 22? This fish will weigh 24. 24 pounds? Maybe 25. She's really thick. I mean, they're obviously feeding extremely well. 
Let's get her back in here. 